Hey y'all, it's Bridget Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the mid-month of September, your 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much joy, love, hope, and happiness, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back, my awesome, amazing Pisces. You guys are phenomenal. You rock. I appreciate all of you guys. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that when it comes to pendulum, oracle, tarot, any kind of readings, that it's important that you guys focus on the energy and the messages and how it correlates and resonates with your life. Never ever force a reading. What's for you is meant for you. What is not, please leave behind for somebody else. Hopefully you guys can still enjoy the reading or learn something. Always, first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father God, Jesus Christ, your incredible angels and spiritual teams, your friends, your family members, your loved ones people who got you, you guys have incredible teams. They love you guys and they're always with you. Turn to them. Always pray and go to God. Believe in him. Believe in yourself. Listen to your tuition and do what's best for you and your families at all times. Please continue to support my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you guys so much for the cool compliments and comments. You guys are awesome. You rock. I do read them. And uh, you guys make my day. I appreciate all of you guys. Any information about the services that I offer is listed in the description box below. Feel free to email me if you guys have any questions about um, any of my services, as I am happy to help you guys. Let's jump into your reading. Everything's been prayed and meditated on. I did already put the spread out. This is the karma reading. It will be triggering. It gets deep. If it's too sensitive for you guys, please feel free to do best. Do what's best for your mental health, okay? For you. Do what's best for your health. Mental health, as you guys know, is, is of imperative importance at this time. It's important. So do what's best for you. These readings I do because I'm divinely guided to do them by God. And because I am a channel, you know, I'm a vessel. So he uses me to help others. And I love what I do. We are not wishing ill will towards anybody. Vengeance is the Lord's. That's up to God. I'm just presenting what I'm getting from spirit. It's about preparation. It's about healing. And it's a reminder that they did not get away with hurting you. It will be triggering. Okay, because I've already seen these cards. They've been sitting on the table for the last five minutes or so. So let's jump into your reading, Pisces. The overall energy is didn't give the friendship or relationship a chance. So somebody did not take you serious. They did not give their all. I keep hearing this song by Taylor Swift. Um, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Some of you guys are really kicking yourselves. And I'm telling you right now, Spirit's telling you guys, get off the hate train for whoever needs to hear this. Get off the hate train. Because it's like, we all make mistakes. We're human, right? We're a lot of things. We're busy. We're parents. We're family members. We're friends. We're a lot of things. We have jobs. We have careers. We're spiritual. We are a lot of things. We're human. And we're all here to learn. This is the learning world. And some of these lessons are excruciating. But Spirit wants you guys to forgive yourselves. All right. Forgive yourselves. Somebody did not live up to your expectations. This was a complete, I'm hearing jokester, trickster, a narcissist. And let me tell you something. They are heavily reaping what they have sown. You guys need to forgive yourselves and remind yourselves that you are a child of God. You are blessed and blessings are coming for you. Spirit knows you did your best. They know you love from your heart space. They know what you went through. Please continue to remind yourself to forgive yourself and truly release it. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to finally forgive themselves. Don't go against that. It's time to really receive that give that blessing to yourself every time whatever you 
did wrong or whatever you feel like you didn't do or whatever you were blamed for. I'm hearing it was spell work and manipulation. They attacked you when you were most vulnerable, when you were going through your own addictions, but you still showed up to love them. You tried for real, sincerely. That is appreciated and applauded by spirit. But somebody didn't deserve your love. They didn't deserve your friendship. They just didn't. They didn't value you. And that's so wrong of them. And death is here. And this is the first card after the overall energy. I felt different with your reading. And I'm hearing, it keeps coming to mind. So I'm hearing that to uplift yourselves, you guys need to listen to music that has the word boom in it or or songs that have the word boom in it. I heard like Nicki Minaj songs. Okay. Like super bass. I don't know. Songs with boom in it. The word boom is uplifting or listen to uplifting music. Okay. But anyways, um, that's going to help you guys get through this. But somebody will cross over to the other side. And this is their karma. I feel like you guys tried to save this person from this. And this is super heavy. This person has been sick. Drowning in addictions for a long time. And you guys tried to save them. And some of you guys are really down on yourself for not being able to save them. Let me remind you this. Please take heed to what I'm about to say. Only, and I mean only, God can save. Doctors are incredible. But only God can do miracles. It's his choice who gets to stay or go. You don't have to be sick. Nobody has to be sick to just drop. You can be in great health. We're on God's clock. When it's our time, it's our time. This person, some of them, they already passed on so my condolences. Or they're going to lose somebody around them. But I feel like somebody's going to resonate with, with this. And it's not everybody's story. But whoever story it is, you have my sincerest condolences. Stay strong and do not lose hope. Somebody's person, either you work with this person or a love interest, family member, could be a family member, somebody who did you wrong. They did you super dirty. Just trifling to the core. And some have already crossed over, but for those who have not yet passed, they are suffering. Oh, they are going through it for hurting and betraying you. They would not take heed and listen to what you were telling them. You only wanted what was right and what was best for them. Some of them passed or they will pass through a car accident. This person, I'm hearing a druggie, so... Heavy in addictions when it comes to drugs, alcohol, I'm hearing fentanyl, or mixing, experimenting. This person lives like they don't have a care in the world. They're very careless, or they don't take care of their car, so the car could malfunction, or they crash a lot, or they drink and drive. This person is not safe. Please do not get in a car with this person. And the Grim Reaper is on this person. They may have been abandoned as a child, and please understand that abandonment is not just when a parent leaves. A parent can be home the whole way through childhood, through adulthood, and still be absent and abandon their child, and it's wrong. But a lot of people are empty inside, and whoever hurt you and betrayed you, these people, it could be more than one, these people are spiritually empty. And let me tell you something. They know God exists. They don't live a life to honor God. They don't live life to honor God. You guys are very patient with them. They may reach out if they're still here, or you may have a spiritual experience because I'm having a lot of spiritual occurrences happening before you're reading. A lot going on. This person, they know they overinvested elsewhere. Not only did they invest in other people that they had no business investing in and spending time with, they had no business over there. They're wrong for this. You did not deserve this. This is not okay. Spirit is not pleased with this person. 
The worst place people can be is in trouble with God and to leave this world broken and not changing for the better, not even trying to be. This person has completely self-destructed or they will self-destruct. They over-invested. They gave the money, the energy, the love and time, the lifestyle, everything that you gave, food, comfort, advice, everything you gave, they went triple gave that to somebody else who is not half of you. They didn't deserve it. They weren't even supposed to inherit or get things that was yours. That was for you. This person purposely did this. They teamed up with other people just to nitpick and to annoy you. And it's really self-hate. They hate your strength, your light. That you guys did break addictions. Some of you guys let alcohol go. You guys went to detox. You guys focused on your kids, your healing, loving yourself. You guys went through the ringer. They hate your strength. This is a lost soul. This person gave up. Not only did they not give you and your kids a chance, if you guys have children together or the family, they didn't even give themselves a chance. They stay suffering and they're very phony, very fake. They pretended like they didn't have time for you or they couldn't get right. They never broke through because they never stepped up. They didn't fight for what was right. They didn't fight hard enough and you were worth it. Yes, you are. You guys are special and amazing. You were worth it. This person was a true hindrance to your life purpose. And this is why death is on them. This is one of the main reasons. There's a lot of reasons. I'm hearing a stack of reasons. But your light is supposed to beam and shine and glow. They saw this in you and they wanted to harvest it all for themselves. This is a very greedy, arrogant, and selfish narcissist. And they would not stop. They got signs. I'm hearing they always acted like they were in denial. They knew better. They knew right from wrong. They knew when it was time to change. And they also knew when it was time to let you go. Because they knew at some point they had chosen to go into darkness and not come out. They don't want to come out. This person stole your credit. They may have stole your credit cards or your money. And they stole by giving to others. But they love to take your credit. If you work with this person, they may have volunteered and grinned and smiled on your face. Oh, I'll turn this in for you. They were trying to take your credit. Lie on you. Pretending like they didn't have time for you. Some of them, like I said, they want a reunion. They want to talk to you. I would pray about this. You know, choose your words wisely. Remember, you guys are spiritual people. You guys represent the light. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with telling your truth. Just do it in a respectful way that you would be good with who you are. In a way that you would make God proud. It's absolutely okay to speak your truth. Because they know the truth. This person has a lot of problems and it's because they chose not to solve it. And you were here to help, to help them, to help them heal and grow. You know, they tried to hold you back and block you, but you guys broke through. People don't understand how you broke through. You held tight to your faith. You didn't give up. You were willing to try again when they weren't even willing to try. They hate your strength. Because they never found it within. They didn't get the help that they should have. They should have listened to you. You were their biggest supporter, greatest ally. You were a true friend and lover for a lot of you guys. You were both. They were so unfair to you. And for all the evil things that you don't even know that they've done that you didn't see, God saw, spirit saw, your ancestors saw. And this is why they're suffering. And they're going out. They're going out. And they're going out as a disgrace. You know, that's 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 a horrible place to be. Pray for yourselves and forgive yourselves. You guys, only God can save. You did your best. You did your part. You tried. Changing and elevating and being the best you. 
helped you to grow. And, and that's the right way. You are the example. You are the light. They were supposed to follow you, follow your lead and take their leadership role, take the role and position that God gave them next to you, beside you. But they hurt you and they betrayed you and they're suffering. So my condolences to them and their family. Continue to love life, love yourself and be safe. Do not give up. You come too far. God did not leave you. He's leading you. And this is why you guys have to walk away and separate and move forward. They pushed you away. They hurt you too many times. This was a repeat offender. False apologies. It's really sad that they didn't appreciate life because all you wanted was joy and happiness with them. I'm proud of you guys. Please be proud of yourself for overcoming these challenges and obstacles. It was not easy. But you guys broke through and you will be blessed with new homes, upgrades to your homes, more blessings, more happiness, more peace. A lot of you guys are getting peace. Truly forgive yourself. I'm hearing it's time. It's overdue. Love God, love yourselves, and receive blessings. Allow them to flow in. You deserve it. So much more, so much better. And everybody knows this. Okay, Pisces, this has been your reading for the mid-month of September, your 2023. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all so much love, joy, happiness, harmony, and of course, abundance and divine angelic guidance and protection. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Pisces.